In this example, we are going to show you how to use the tank optimizer on the X30. In the Cedar controller window, press the configuration button, and in this list here, press the multi-tank calibration button. In this list, you have the tank optimizer option, press that, and this will take you to the first step for the tank optimizer. We we'll want to enter in our products for application. So press the blue plus button for our first product. In our example, we will be seeding wheat, hard red, and we will use a rate of 110 pounds per acre. We'll add our second product. We'll go with urea and we will use an application rate of 100 pounds per acre. For our third product we will apply uh, phosphorus and we will apply 20 pounds per the acre. And we'll use a fourth product of sulfur and we will put down a rate of 30 pounds. Now we'll have the tank, we've got our saddle tank turned off so we'll use the four main uh, uh, compartments or four main metering augers on the cedar. You will see also that you can assign, you can choose how to assign the tank. I'm leaving it now at any tank so it allows the configurator to choose uh, any of the tanks to apply the products in and give us a maximum number of options. We can choose multiple tanks or we can actually specify tanks 1, 2, 3 or 4 for our uh, configurator if we want to, uh, to specify specific tanks for a product. So our next step is to go to the next window and it will provide us uh, a number of options for uh, configuring the air seeder. Our first one uses, uh, puts, all, puts the urea into uh, tank one uh, for a total of uh, 236 acres before the next fill. Uh, it puts the uh, sulfur, combines the flex bin with tank two and that gives us 461 acres before the next fill. Uh, phosphate can go into uh, bin 3, gives us 196 acres. And wheat, we have 161 acres before we have to refill the tank. It's showing in red because that is our first bin that we have to fill and uh, refilling. So the maximum area covered before refilling is 161 acres. So we'll just have a look at what the other configurations that uh, it offers. Uh, the second configuration here has got uh, the flex bin now diverted to compartment one so that gives us 288 acres for urea. Uh, bin two is by itself for sulfur 263 acres. Uh, phosphate is 196 acres in bin three again and wheat is in uh, bin four 161 acres. So I see that the distribution is much more even uh, with this selection as compared to uh, the previous one. So this is the one that uh, I'm going to choose to go with. So I will uh, configure the tank to have 
the flex bin uh, spill into uh, bin one, and two, three, and four will be metering independently uh, those products. And it'll ask me, do you want to apply this tank configuration? I'll say yes. Now I can turn on my bins, move these around so they're all in order, and you'll see that it has put my application rates into the specified uh, compartments. So I'm ready to go.